Clinical trials uh, are, as you probably know, since you, you're involved with this, is, are, are divided into different types. There are local clinical trials that are uh, just done at one or two institutions, uh, and there are others that lead to larger trials. So we have, as you know, phase one trials. The phase one trials are uh, mainly safety that, and dose finding. Mm -hmm. Phase two is proof of concept. They're usually relatively brief. They have a lo much larger number of patients. Uh, and they often use a surrogate endpoint to try to get a relatively quick idea of whether this is a promising drug or a promising line of clinical trial uh, research or whether it's likely to be a dead end and not worth wasting both patient, uh, physician time, pharma time, NIH, MS Society time on it. And those are the so-called phase two and we use MRI a lot in those especially for relapsing remitting MS. The phase three are what we call the pivotal trials and those have to have a clinical outcome as their main uh, outcome, at least in the United States for the FDA, uh, to license uh, a drug if it's new and uh, to uh, allow the company to um, promote the drug uh, mm -hmm. if it's already on the market for some other disease. Um, and those trials require large numbers um, because MS is quite a variable disease, especially relapsing remitting MS early on. So you have these type of trials which are important and they have primary outcomes which is usually clinical and then secondary outcomes such as MRI and sometimes laboratory studies and so forth.